Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today we'll be looking at the definition of market cap, also known as market capitalization. Market capitalization is the total dollar market value of all of the company's outstanding shares. Market capitalization is calculated by multiplying all of the company's outstanding shares by the current market price of a single share. Investors use this figure to determine a company's size. Uh, there's no hard and fast rule here, but typically as small caps are equal to two billion or less in, on the market capitalization, uh, mid cap would be two billion to ten billion, and large cap would be ten billion or more. Uh, some even break it down even further into micro caps and mega caps, but we'll just leave it like this for now. And again, there's no hard and fast rule there, but it's within those ranges. Okay, let's take a moment here to actually look at market capitalization uh, analysis and in actual use. We're going to start off looking at Corning Incorporated, ticker symbols GLW. You can see that the stock is trading at 13.58 per share. And we can look right here at the key statistics. Uh, on, I'm actually on Mark, uh, Yahoo's, uh, what is it, Yahoo Finance page. Uh, look this up. You can find many different finance page out there. Um, even your discount brokers online will have this information available to you. But uh, you can see here that you have the market cap, and it's indicated here, and taking a single share price, multiplying it by the total number of shares outstanding, and they can come up to this number, uh, 20.57 billion. Okay. Now let's look at another company and compare the two. Okay, here we are looking at AVX Corporation, ticker symbols AVX. And you can see that the stock is one cent lower. The stock is trading one cent lower than the previous uh, on Corning. So 13.57. Like I said one penny less. However, look at the market cap here. This indication here. You see it's only 2.3 billion here. It's about a tenth the size of Corning. So that gives you some idea that uh, how to use market cap. It actually compares the two. You can get a, a size reference between the two companies when share price alone cannot give you that. Okay, So now you know how market cap is calculated and what you can do with it. You can compare different companies and get a, an idea of the size. In this particular case, we're looking at one that's roughly a small cap uh, versus the previous one, Corning, we were looking at was a large cap. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit loss or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.